Extra minutes. Oh look, you know, I've got I've got three kids and I've made the mistake of being on the phone and my kids are always reminding me not to get on the phone and and for me it was it was a very very stark reminder of the need for me to be vigilant about not being on the phone in the car and so now I just put my phone in the glove box and don't worry about it and don't answer it and don't engage that way when I'm in the vehicle because they they're essentially a high-speed weapon. What they saw uh, is something no parent should have to see. Um, and I think it's a, it's a very stark reminder to us all that those one, two, three seconds that you look down or try and answer a call or be involved in social media on a phone in your car can be fatal. I'm a landscaper. I, I've got a truck, I drive, and the amount of people that are texting, um, talking on the phone, is unbelievable. Every second car I would see someone on the phone. Yeah. But the, unfortunately the technology today has made us has made us so dependent on the telephone. It, it seems it rings and we want to answer it because that's what we've got to do. It's a, such an unnatural environment to be interviewing someone, especially on camera, and to be so intensely personal on camera is a very difficult thing for people who aren't used to it. Um, it's intensely difficult for people who are. I ran towards a car and, and my leg sort of came away and it was like she didn't want me to find her or get any closer and I just collapsed. Well, the message is, if you don't stop using mobile phones in cars, then the consequences can be catastrophic and fatal. For two seconds, for two seconds that you're on the phone, it can cost you your life. How can we not be getting that message?